What's up guys, if this is your first time watching, thank you for viewing this channel and the video. But on the last video, we were working on the skyline. Uh, we started removing the valve covers, we started taking the spark plugs out, the coal packs out, and we started playing around with the RB26 covers, as you can see here. So, I got these RB26 covers from my buddy and we were test fitting them on. Uh, it looks pretty good, but there's a lot more work into this than just putting them on. Uh, and we can talk about that in another video. But I'm just having it covered in the time being because, because I actually took the valve covers off the RB25 and we started to paint them. So what I did was scrub everything clean. I didn't really do a video on it, but I was working on scrubbing it, sanding it down. So I took the valve covers off and I started to prep one of them. Uh, I, pr I sanded down, scrubbed, cleaned everything on that valve cover and I primered it. I primered it twice because I wanted to make sure it was thick enough that way I can sand it afterwards make it super smooth so when I lay the the actual color that I wanted it would actually look really good um, of course painting isn't gonna be as nice as powder coating but that's what I ended up doing um, you know primer twice sand it down and then I went ahead and sprayed my color I chose to do this rust-oleum chrome gold color uh, I did them on my S2000 brakes and I really like the way it looks it has a little glimmer to it when you see it um, the light hit it on certain edges um, but for the most part it's just a regular flat gloss color um, and you know, I just thought it would pop a little bit. So, um, here's the finished product. It doesn't look that good because it's not cleared yet. And this is the inside where the cover goes on top of that, um, the spark plug cover. So, I'm probably gonna end up painting the spark plug cover anyway. Um, I haven't decided yet. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But for the most part, the only side you'll really see is this side. And I want to make sure that looks as good as possible. Also, spark plugs, if you remember, we removed the spark plugs and the coal packs to see what was the issue of the misfire. Um, also, I was running on five cylinders instead of all six. And I looked at these two spark plugs and they looked pretty, uh, pretty, pretty messed up. Filled with oil, so clearly these aren't igniting. It could be the spark plug, but it could be the coal pack. I inspected all the spark plugs, they look fine, but I bought some NGKs for the car. I bought some NGKs for the car because honestly, you might as well just replace it since you're already in there. I also found a set of used uh, coil packs on eBay and my buddy Vince, he sent me a link and I ordered them right away because they were a really good deal. Uh, I'd rather have a spare set than to buy one individually and one fail and it's just going to be more expensive. So I found a good deal on them so I went ahead and copped a whole set right here from eBay and uh, I haven't opened them yet. To put everything back, I might as well go ahead and finish the valve covers. I already started doing one. I still gotta clean the other one, which is outside the house, drying in the sun right now, because I just cleaned it with the greaser. It's a process. And then I gotta sand it down, I gotta primer it, all of that. So it's gonna take time until I can actually install those parts. Um, another thing, if you didn't watch the last video, timing belt is messed up. You can see how nasty that is. All the little cut up, torn rubber in that it's just it just looks dry rotted so i've been watching a lot of videos on how to do a timing belt i've been watching um auctions on ebay i've been looking at everything and price wise it's going to be expensive but the only thing i'm going to really replace is the timing belt and the tensioner and idler pulley um i don't think i need to change the cam seals i don't think i need to change the crank seal um they also suggest changing the water pump personally i don't drive the car that much and also the car has pretty low miles. It's about 60,000 miles or 100 something kilometers, 100 something thousand kilometers. So it ain't bad. I think I could change that later, but if I can learn how to do the timing belt on this car and something happens later with the water pump, at least I know how to fix it. Won't be an issue. Um, but for now, I'm learning to do all of this through the couple of days that I've been working on the car. And on top of that, uh, hopefully I can just fix the major issues, which is the misfiring. So the car is running funny. Changing the oil so the oil pressure doesn't drop lower than one. Um, that's the issue that I'm having now. So I got a thicker oil and also changing the timing belt and tensioner because that was an unforeseen uh, thing. And it just, it scares me to think that can snap any minute. So I just want to update you guys on what's going on. Um, it's been very, very hot after the hurricane and I've been trying to do as much as I can outside without burning up to death or sweating and drowning my own sweat. So. For right now, I'm just focusing on getting the valve covers cleaned and painted. We're gonna throw it back in. Um, and then, I'm gonna go ahead and order the timing belt 
and the tensioner all that costs money so it's gonna take time to get here as well as me getting the funds for it I'm not in a big rush to finish the car I really don't need to finish this car right away but it's good that I'm taking my time with it and not rushing it because I don't want to mess that up another thing is if I am gonna do the timing belt I probably have to end up taking the radiator out and that's gonna really suck because I have to do a coolant flush and all that stuff again and you know it's just I don't know what I want to do just yet but we'll see what happens when the time comes. But the main thing is finishing the valve cover so I can put that back. And then debating on starting on the timing belt. Setting all the stuff to top dead center and going in at it. Being patient is the best thing you can do when it comes to working on these expensive cars or anything mechanical. Because one slip up can make you completely broke when you go ahead and repair all those parts. So yeah, that's an update. And another thing I want to talk about is the S2000. Um, I still haven't done an oil change on it yet. I probably could do it later uh, this weekend. Um, when it gets a little cooler, but honestly, it's just unbearable. So something has come up on this car, and I want to tell you guys, but I can't right now. Um, it's just, there's just so much going on on a daily basis. Everything changes, but please just stay tuned, and I'll update you guys maybe on the next video. So yeah, there's a lot to do um, in this video. I'm going to go ahead and finish the valve covers, and then we'll jump right back after I finish all of that. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so it's been quite a while, so I've been really busy finishing up those valve covers. I uh, finally got around to clear coating all of them. Um, when I was making the video earlier, I only did one side, so I was prepping the second one and doing that. Also contemplating on painting the cover and also the, uh, I guess you want to call it the spark plug cover as well, and the time cover, because they're both black plastic right now, and I don't know if it'll look tacky or not. So for the time being, only the metal valve covers are being painted. Um, so in the meantime, I went ahead and installed the uh, gaskets back onto the valve covers. I reused the valve cover gaskets that I had from the RB26 valve covers because they were still brand new. Um, and the ones that came off the car was as crusty as it can be. So it definitely needs to be done eventually. So I'm glad I was able to do that and clear it up. So I went ahead and installed uh, both of the valve covers on. And then I slowly installed the throttle body back on with the wires and everything. Not gonna lie, kind of a mess, but it is what it is. Without those uh, towels, it looks pretty damn good. Um, for the time being, I bolted the uh, cam angle sensor back on and left a little bit of gap as if I was to install that on there um, because there is a washer and a gap. And I'm just doing that because I want to test to see if the new spark plugs and the uh, coil pack fix the issue of the misfire and the rough idling. And I'm also going to leave the coil pack cover off because if anything needs to be adjusted, I can access it without going through all the trouble. When I go ahead and do the timing belt, I have to take off the spark plugs again anyway because when I go and adjust this to top dead center I want to avoid damaging the uh, pistons and all that stuff because I know there's a lot of moving parts going on here and just one faulty adjustment can just cause an issue and I don't want to deal with that so the best thing to do is just remove the spark plugs and you're pretty much good to go also I haven't ordered the timing belt or the tensioner and idler pulleys yet because they are a little pricey and right now I'm on a budget so the first two important things I wanted to replace was the spark plug and the coil packs, just like I said. And if those are fixed, everything is resolved, we're going to go ahead and get the parts for the timing belt and the tensioner. On top of all of my uh, tires, I have a little table that I made, just because, you know, space is a little tight in the garage. This is the old spark plug, as you can see, NGKs. Um, they didn't look that bad. As you can see, they still look pretty good. But I went ahead and just replaced all of them anyway, because they didn't cost me that much. And here are the new ones. Uh, the tip on the old ones are kind of triangle and the tips on these are kind of flat So I'm gonna go ahead right now and install all of these plugs and then we're gonna put the coil packs in I'm gonna probably end up just putting two of the newer used newer coil packs that I purchased uh, Recently in these two just because I see these spark plugs are a little oily So we're gonna do that probably not gonna go ahead and record it It's super easy to do and you guys can kind of visualize in your head But gonna do that and then we're gonna start the car up and hopefully it runs smooth uh and yeah i'll be right back in just a little all right so we are back everything is put back together for the most part uh make sure i rerouted all the vacuum lines into place uh, i really hope everything works um we're gonna start it now and hopefully it doesn't hiccup hopefully there's no issues um it's always nerve-wracking when you start messing with engine stuff and you gotta you know turn it on afterwards but i'm pretty confident it's gonna be fine i did put new spark plugs in they're all gapped to 1.1 millimeters. And I also used two coil packs that I ordered online from another running car. I bought six of them, but now I just use two. So hopefully this is gonna solve the two issues of misfiring. I really think it's the coil packs, but we'll see. I'm gonna put on tripod and we're gonna start this thing up and hopefully it runs smoothly. 